Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we have the updated Super X Pro console. It's a TV, movie streaming TV box with the capability of emulating a wide range of classic games consoles. Now it is advertised as being a 4K TV box, but realistically, looking at the specifications for smooth video playback, you should expect from between 720 and 1080p resolution. So let's go ahead and open it up. And inside, okay, we get another sealed box with such accessories as having a nice little USB hub with four 2.0 USB ports. There's also a foreign power supply, we are indeed supplied with a UK adapter for this, and an HDMI cable too. Included is quite a typical compact Android TV remote. It does take two AAA batteries, and yes, we've got the Android TV box itself, which is a lot smaller than I had ever imagined. Let's just place it to the side though, just for now. We also do get a very detailed user setup manual, a controller manual too, and talking about controllers, yes, we are supplied with two second 2.5 gigahertz, triple E battery operated, plug and play classic PlayStation 3 replica controllers. We are given two USB dongles, which when they're both inserted into that TV box, it will connect to both of those controllers. Now you can add two more controllers should you wish to this package, and that's obviously why they supplied us with that nice little USB hub. Looking back to the Super X Pro console itself, it does indeed have a retro look about it, especially in that Super Nintendo PS1 classic colour tone. To the rear, there is an AV port for audio visual connection. There's also an Ethernet port for wide internet connection, and I will add that wireless connection is indeed accessible. There's the usual HDMI port, the DC power port, and the on-off power button. Shifting to the side, there's two USB 2.0 ports, where yes, you can insert that USB hub, and you've also got already inserted a 64GB card within that card slot, with those games already included on it. Now I do know as well as this 64GB version, you can also get a 128GB and 256GB version. This indeed is the base version today, and it does retail around £56. That's around £78 in US dollars at the time of this upload. And, depending on which model you may choose, the price will fluctuate upwards around the £80 mark. You do get an awful lot of air vents underneath, there's plenty of ventilation, with four foam feet supports. And well, you're simply going to hook it up, and yeah, we're going to see what it can do. Initially, after turning it on, as you can see, it's running that well-known Emulec software. And as mentioned, yes, you can add more controllers to this console, and it can also be compatible with PlayStation 3 and PS4 controllers too. After a very short startup, we are brought to that nice main menu, which is very clear, nicely laid out, and as you can see, we've got those classic game console options, like Super Nintendo, Sinclair, Amstrad, the classic Atari consoles, Lynx, Commodore 64, Dreamcast, Game Gear, most of the Game Boy consoles, Sega Genesis, Master System, Nintendo 64, Neo Geo, PSP, and yes, PlayStation 1. There's plenty more to choose from too. First though, before we get into some of those games, as mentioned, this console is also an Android TV box, which is accessible by turning the console off, taking that SD card out, and rebooting back up. Start up, yes, it does have that updated initial Android TV main menu, nice bright and easy layout, with all the usual basic preloaded apps. So yes, you have a basic internet browser, the Google Play Store, Netflix, and YouTube, etc. You do have the Kodi app installed, which will require you to set it up yourselves. And yep, with that 4K video playback, it is somewhat buffer-free, plays very smooth, and after going into specifications, you can see we're running Android 7.1, with 1GB RAM, 8GB ROM, and included is that newly updated S905X quad-core 64-bit chip. Let's revert right back to the games console, and let's try out a few of the games.
Now most graphically intense games should run quite fluidly, from between 30 to 60 frames per second. I must say low end games run real fine, with lovely noticeable touches such as the console art hiding those old school bezels. Now with this 64GB version it is advertised as having 30,000 games included. I don't know about that but I will say that the game list is almost endless. We did get carried away just a little bit today, uh, spending six hours reliving some good old gaming fun. Most games did run well, I must say that a few old mouse and keyboard operated games, well we did run into a few difficulties when playing them. However, it's nice to see that each one of the console's games list are nicely laid out. All the games run very well with the Super X console's chipset. But listen, I suppose yes you could simply buy a better Android TV box with a much improved CPU and simply look up an online installation of the Emulec emulator and then basically install it onto a memory card. Yes, you could do that, but with this whole package, everything is pretty much ready to go right out of the box. And to be quite honest, this is the longest time I've reviewed a TV box for. It was just so much fun and great memories relived. But I will note that in future, you may want to choose better controllers if you do indeed buy this TV box, as on one of the controllers, the left controller stick was quite a bit oversensitive for my liking. But yeah, a super fun TV box, loads of classic games, that today I'm gonna give, you know what, I'm gonna be quite generous, I'm gonna give 9 out of 10. Oh, one last thing guys, I will advise this, so please take note that don't mess around with the Emulex screen resolution settings. I did do this, I set it to 4K, and I did accidentally blank the screen off. So if you do have this problem, you may need to reflash your card with the Emulex software, which could take quite a long time. I personally don't know how to do that, and I'm just suggesting that you keep those presets as they are, and just simply enjoy some nice retro games. Now I can suggest this TV box today, and I will leave a nice little link in the video description description down below. I'm not affiliated in any way, so go into that video description, click it, and if you like what you see, well why not go get yours? This has been so much fun, I actually have really enjoyed this review, but if you want to see more, well why not press the like on this video today, please subscribe to this channel, and make sure yes to hit that bell notification option to stay updated upon our new uploads. Now I'm going to be doing some more fun reviews in the next few days, so stay tuned for them, and as usual guys, Please stay safe and thank you ever so much for watching. Peace! <laughs> Let me fault then.